a learner-centered design for online engineering courses. The COVID-19 pandemic placed pressure on universities to deliver their courses online. While remote learning platforms had already been gaining popularity, the rapid shift that occurred in the first few months of the pandemic revealed the shortcomings of these platforms. For instance, remote learning platforms are often not inclusive of different types of learners, and many students can struggle to stay motivated. Nonetheless, online learning has many benefits as it allows students to receive an education from anywhere with an internet connection. Dr. Barrett Caldwell and his team at Purdue University devised a new approach that could help to improve online courses and engineering subjects. The approach builds on Dr. Caldwell's experience while teaching and developing the Perspectives on Systems Engineering course at Purdue University. Systems engineering requires students to learn concepts rooted in different disciplines, recognize connections between these concepts, and ultimately use them to solve engineering problems. Although the Perspectives on Systems Engineering course was already accessible online before the outbreak of COVID-19, Dr. Caldwell's team developed its online components further during the pandemic. The team's course is based on three primary universal design frameworks for creating education programs. The first principle is that the instructional environment should convey course material in an easy and accessible way. Secondly, this environment should allow learners to engage with the course material in different ways. Course design also highlights the need to create a diverse, inclusive, and welcoming online learning environment while leveraging technology to support learning. Finally, the course instructor should clearly convey what the essential parts of the course are. Be inclusive of all learners, the team's design also considers different types of students, each with their own level of motivation, attention regulation abilities, learning style, socioeconomic background, and prior knowledge. Dr. Caldwell's team wished to accommodate and support all learners rather than a hypothetical average learner. Towards this aim, their design highlights the need to create dynamic interfaces that can adapt to users. Within this dynamic online learning environment, students perform two main types of tasks. The first are learning tasks through which they acquire or express knowledge, such as watching lectures or taking a quiz. The second are information searches, which require students to actively explore course material and make connections between concepts. This new online course framework has so far proved to be very valuable. Students taking Dr. Caldwell's systems engineering course were very satisfied with what they learned and the flexibility offered by the course. This work could guide the development of similar online engineering programs that meet the unique needs of diverse students.